We cutting it close, give the ninja the sword Fuck what they think, man, these niggas don't know it This shit is sick and get in your paws And then you a corpse and then it's the mold Me, I'm a hustle until it's the fault, I swore It was no more than a chore I got the house by the wall, I can't go by the shore I'm sure I'm sure Look, we gonna talk about um, And we gonna talk about dogs And how they actually communicate As it relates to humans because it's all about your type of worldview, your perspective. And we all we know as humans is we can communicate verbally and with body language to interpret things. So that's why anytime animations or even sometimes real life like Ted, the movie, all that stuff, when it, everything is all about personification. They put a person's on the type of representation. Now, anyways, now to go to dogs, right? Like we need to understand that. OK, like I said, it's a worldview. So, as it relates to us, how can we see how dogs can can pretty much visualize? It's not to say, oh, they only see black and white. What do you mean by that? What is black and white? You know what I'm saying? Now, that don't, that don't even, I don't even want to go into what that could even mean because people that made that up, they ain't even that smart. But anyway, so look. So, dogs, right, they can get happy. They can get sad. They always comfort you when they know you're in a certain mood, right? They always, if you if you never knew now, you now you know about the fact that dogs only go off of you. So if there's an angry dog in your house or a dog that's, you know what I'm saying, always barking somehow, then that's somehow, some way, the environment, as in the certain vibes there, the certain the certain subconscious things that everybody feels but they can't see because subconscious is without you seeing so that means it's more like an emotion or a feeling that you catch around you right so that's the environment all and it's all over the place so more more than others than usual than other ones anyway so look look so in a nutshell your dog is pretty much Sensing your vibes, sensing your emotions, sensing what's going on with you behind what you're actually doing. So you could be the nicest person ever, but if you're actually holding in a lot of things, your dog is going to interpret that like, okay, we can have playtime, but it's all going to build up. It's like, it's all going to be from a place of like, you know, some type of anger or built up, pent up energy type of thing, pent up type of vibe. So, this is why your dogs sometimes can understand when, uh, when to look at you like a threat or not sometimes. Like, you know, dogs sit there and they'll protect, they'll, pro they'll protect somebody and then they'll be looking out. Now, this all depends on your house too, but then, and then they'll be barking at somebody while they're protecting the other person. So this basically, uh, this this kind of comes down to like, they don't know nothing but what they feel. And what they feel is the, the feeling that they feel like they need to, oh, I look down, it's 333 for the time. That's crazy. But uh, the, the feeling, you know, they go off of what they feel like they need to go, not, not what they see and not the fact, because if they could uh, actually interpret what was going on, then they would be like, oh, they're just playing, so there's no need for me to bark. Unless I'm honestly just trying to waste my energy playing. But no, they pretty much be like playing guard for one person and then they get they kind of attacking another person. Because they just sense in the fact that you're trying to get through them, get through that person. Talk to that person in a way that that person is restricting and don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. So sometimes your dog can understand when you're sad, happy without you understanding why but the reason why is just because he senses just like we all can sense vibes but dogs since they can't interpret they sense it even harder that's why anything that lacks something they got it, the other thing that's harder so a person that's blind can hear better a person that's deaf can see better most of the time so things enhance when things get shut down so Sometimes your dogs can even now really I look I made this I made this video right here because Like I'm so backwards uh, my, But I made this video because I was about to leave and my dogs It's like they knew that I was about to leave 
you know like they already understood like they was because my, my dog does this thing where he'll try to like bite at my foot everybody know that's my friend or whoever done been on my house they'll try to he'll try to bite at your foot or get at your foot before you close the door as if you're about to leave him or something it's like when you're walking out so he did that to me and he ain't did that the whole day and I was thinking like why how, how, why he want to do that and I'm thinking like okay you know what he probably sensed my vibe because I was he probably felt like I was about to conduct myself outside in the world as in you're not gonna be the same in a private area like your home like you can say you can but technically no you don't so but basically they sensed they sensed the fact that I was about or he sensed the fact that I was about to go so that shit crazy you know what I'm saying that's crazy because and all I could tie it to is the fact that he felt like I was about to go somewhere so in a nutshell dogs feel vibrations they feel what's what you're subconsciously saying or feeling with body language and that body language is coming from your subconscious of you you taking in feelings as in a thought some type of mental some type of uh mentality you know or some type of, you know way some type of way of makes you react in a certain way without even saying it sometimes so they go off of that they go off of that realm okay so yeah uh cheers cheers beers i'm on the way on the way somewhere California, no sound upon it, but 